So I've got a few of these old baseball bats that I've acquired over the years. And up until now, they've just been sitting in a storage area. Um, but I've wanted to, for a long time, I've wanted to put them on display somehow. And I never have figured out quite the right way to do it. And I think I was just overcomplicating it and I hesitated for so long. Um, but I decided to just go with something simple. And I was kind of holding the bat up and thinking about how it would look on a wall like this. And as I was doing it, I thought this kind of hook shape would probably be a really good uh, solution. So almost like a J shape um, turned out to be kind of like a hand. So that's what I'm going to try to go with and we'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to kind of sketch out the general shape that I want these uh, these brackets or hooks to be in. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of use my my hand as a guide. Just a little just a little hook like that, and it's probably going to be a little bit too long, so I have to trim some of this down. I'm going to cut that out with the jigsaw. turned out pretty well, but I want to use the same 1x6 material to use as the plaque that these brackets are going to are gonna sit on. So obviously this bracket is just a little bit too big to go across on a, on a regular 1x6 board. So I'm going to trim that down a little bit and make it so that it's, it's flush with the 1x6. So I'm just going to make a mark right here and then kind of follow that same curve that I had before and just bring it down like that. So now it's going to look um, like a little small hand or maybe like a glove. It's going to be holding the bat. And that'll be a good fit. So now I'm going to trace out this bracket and use the same piece of scrap wood. And I'm going to have the two identical brackets. These bats that I'm displaying are just really short uh, junior size bats or uh, child size bats. So they're not very long, they're only about 30 inches long and I want my plaque to be just a little bit longer than the bat. Obviously if this is a full size bat or a major league bat it would probably be another uh, 4 to 6 inches longer than, than these bats are. So I'm, with these bats being about 30 inches long I'm just going to cut my plaque at 31 inches to give a little bit of, a little bit of extra uh, length on, on either end. And now I'll just give everything a uh, smooth sanding. Unfortunately my orbital sander broke just before this project started. So I'll be sanding everything by hand. So I got everything with an 80 grit sandpaper, now I'm going to follow it up with a 150. So I'm also going to give my plaque a light sanding. Now that I have my board and my two brackets all sanded and ready to be assembled, I just want to take a look at where the placement of these brackets should be on the board. And taking a look at, at the bat, um, I noticed that there's a lot of writing down here at the end that I don't want to cover up. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball the, the ideal distance of how far away I want the uh, two brackets so that I don't cover anything up. And that looks pretty good now that I can see all of the wording here um, and nothing is, uh, nothing is blocked. So I'm going to take the bat away and measure out how far that distance is. And that distance turned out to be about an inch and three quarters. 
So I mark the outside edge of the brackets with a straight line, came back with a square, filled in that line, and now I'm going to cut or drill a couple of holes here that are going to attach these brackets from the back side. And drill through just to mark my spot. On the other side, I'm going to drill through again and countersink for the screws. Now that my holes are drilled through from the back side, I'm just going to mark a pilot hole by drilling through and into the bracket. I was thinking maybe a unique way to hang the display rack would be to mount a French cleat to the wall and rather than have the French cleat extend the full length of the, of the shelf I would just cut it uh, in and have it kind of inset about a half an inch all the way around. It would give the, the bat display uh, sort of a, it would look like it was kind of floating away from the wall but give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm just going to add a coat of this early Minwax Early American Stain, which I think will contrast the color of the bat nicely. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, this is a really simple build. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, just a couple of basic cuts with a jigsaw mounted to a, a one by six board. It can really be dressed up if, if you wanted it to. You could uh, router the edges and make a really nice um, edge all the way around. You could dress up the, um, the, the brackets any way you'd like. Um, obviously stain it any different color or even paint it. Um, but I want it to be somewhat rustic because these bats are are pretty old and rough and I just thought that the rustic kind of simple look would really allow the bats to stand out. I didn't really want the, the brackets or the shelf to um, take away from the bats. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you next time.